Okay, guys, this is a uh, this is a fun one. You already know how to do message text, and you already know how to put your name and your date and the time on the screen. But I'm going to show you how to uh, show when the inputs and outputs are either energized or the outputs are turned on. So first of all, we're going to grab a um, an input, a couple of inputs, and an output or two of them. I'm going to change this one to I3 because it's uh, it's the one that's the green button, and so I want both of those green buttons to work when you do this. Okay, so connect them, and we're just practicing putting these on the logo screen. So we got to add message text as well. So status high and an open connector. Go down to the bottom here, add your message text, and hook it up. All right, so the trick is you want this to show up on your screen to, to see when the buttons are being pushed or when the lights are on. So we double click here. And <clears throat> the way we do that is, of course, you know, I, I always want you guys to put your name on here. So I'm going to put my name on here as well. And then I'm going to put, uh, let's see, up push button because that's the one that we're using. And I'm going to put uh, down push button because that's I3 and I'm going to put a uh, let's see red red PP and a green PB all right so over here just a little ways just so it kind of looks neat and everything I'm going to put the cursor there and on our IO status name, see, I clicked on this on off button and that's what you do in order to get uh, the inputs and outputs uh, status screen here. And so on the inputs on this drop down menu, you can see it's got inputs, outputs, cursor keys, all that kind of stuff. But I'm going to leave it on inputs and it is going to be I1 and I want it to be the input name for false is off, input name for true is on. And we'll click OK. Okay, so that'll show whether your uh, your up PB is pushed. Let's go down right below here. We're going to do the same thing again, except I'm going to change this I1 to I3. And it automatically populates that I1 or I3 because those are the ones I used on there. I click OK. Now, here's the here's a little bit tricky one. you got to click the on-off button once again, but we've got to change this to digital outputs. So we click on digital outputs. And uh, we used, I think, Q1 and Q3. I'd have to look here. Let's see. Yep, Q1 and Q2, I guess. So we click that, click OK. And if it was Q2, it must be the orange. So I better change that. O R A N G E space P B. All right. Go back here and click on off. We got to change that to Q. Oops. Let's see. Q or outputs and Q2. All right, so what happens is, now that we've got all this put in there, we will uh, download it and um, go online with it and just watch it and see if it, uh, if it shows all of my inputs and my outputs on the logo screen. Have fun with this one. Um, this will add a little bit of uh, extra because a lot of times when you're troubleshooting, you want to be able to see whether something's on or off. And, and short of going online, you're not going to know unless it's you add this message text to your screen. So uh, enjoy.